are, I would like to show with you the refrigerator magnets that I have created for art anthology design team. Um, for the magnets, I'm using the 4x6 magnets, photo magnets, and I'm covering them up with um, cork adhesive. And uh, cork is not a very stable material, as you see. Um, some of the corks are breaking, but that's fine because I'm going to be applying medium to stabilize that. Um, so here I'm just um, putting in um, adhesive cork, and some of the corks are broken, but I am still putting it in. Um, since I'll be stabilizing the surface later. And here I'm just cutting off the excess cork um, to fit the size of the magnet. And I am also keeping the excess cork um, for the later use. And then next I am um, applying a generous amount of gesso on the cork surface to um, supply a surface, surface for my colors to tack on. So I'm really applying a generous amount because I sort of want to stabilize my cork surface uh, with gesso. Um, so I'm just going in with uh, different coats um, to really um, prime the surface. And I'm doing the same thing to all three uh, magnets. And since the colors that I will be using later are sort of soft color, it's really important to cover up the brown color on the surface um, so that the colors will show up later. Um, And I'm using uh, some splashes of gesso that I spill, spill over on my craft mat uh, to go in with an extra coat as well. And I am going to let them dry real quick. And here I'm cutting off the chipboard pieces. Um, I believe those are uh, the leftover Joanna Dollar chipboard pieces. And before that, I want to add some texture. So I'm using um, 6x9 stencil from Art Anthology and I am uh, spraying that with salted caramel and um, guacamole color, color spray uh, for the first canvas and for the second um, magnet I'm uh, spraying that on with salted uh, caramel and uh, Wamier Bay colors and uh, for the third canvas, I am using um, salted caramel with a lark color sprays, and I'm letting them dry before I start embellishing. And here I'm pulling out the Tupperware uh, where I store all these uh, little bits and pieces of metals and scraps uh, throughout my house, and I'm pulling out the pieces that I can use. Um, so there are some screws and nuts and bolts and um, buttons and things like that. And I've also some uh, flattened some bottle, bottle caps to use for this project. And I'm just uh, picking out uh, pieces of uh, glass and things that will fit in that bottle cap. And here I'm just layering um, bottle cap with um, a piece of glass or a piece of clay that will go in the bottle, uh, in the middle of the bottle cap. Um, and I am using the similar embellishments for all three magnets so that, uh, so that they will, um, the appearance will kind of match. So I'm layering the chipboards in the background before I put in my uh, metal pieces and scraps. Uh, and those are um, chipboards left over uh, from, I believe, Joanna Dollar Store. Um, so after gluing them on, I'm gluing on my bottle cap. And for this kind of project, you really don't have to worry about uh, what color embellishments you're using or what the material is. Um, as, long as, as long as the embellishments are the shape that you like, uh, you can go ahead and use it. Um, here I'm cutting off a metal flower into three pieces so that I can use the same piece for all three projects, uh, just kind of maximizing the use of um, embellishments. And you also realize that I am putting in um, scrap um, 
kind of、um, not very pretty embellishments in the background, and then、um, I'll layer that with pretty pieces、uh, of the embellishments.、Um, and the most difficult thing for this、uh, kind of project is to layer、uh, all these embellishments and have them look like they're leveled, because if you don't level them correctly, they'll kind of look look lopsided. So be really sure.、Um, About your layering and level leveling when you do this kind of project.、Um, here I'm just、um, putting、uh, pulling out more and more embellishments from my stash, and I pull out this、uh, cameo setting, but I really don't have a cameo to put in there, which is fine because I can just put in a little bit uh, of um, a metal or something in the middle、uh, that fits there. Um, so now the cameo setting are not on the same level with all these flowers, so I need to level it up by. Putting in a little bit of pop dots, and I, instead of buying pop dots, I'm using、uh, the cork leftovers from earlier, if that makes sense. So the cameo setting sort of look popped up、uh, on top of the flower,、um, so that it won't look,、uh, it won't be lopsided and、um, looks like the embellishments are going to fall flat.、Um, So I'm really I'm being really careful about the level, and I decided not to use that two chipboard flourishes、um, that are on the on the top of the screen because they're kind of、uh, thick、uh, for this kind of project. So、um, the level of the embellishment will not be、um, will not quite work.、Um, so I decided not to use them, even though I pulled them out of the stash. So now I'm just、um, putting in more and more of the embellishments.、Um, Onto my project, and、uh, when I'm doing while I'm doing that, I'm very careful with the leveling of the embellishments and the layering of them. And also, I try to use the similar pieces for all three projects、uh, so that they will kind of match. And this kind of project is really good project for destashing and house cleaning.、Uh, if you ever clean out your craft room and you have all these、um, bits and pieces that you don't want, you can just、um, glue it on a canvas. It's not, you know, something that you have to go shopping for,、um, and、um, and you don't have to worry about the color of the canvas and、uh, color of the the embellishments, and you don't have to worry about、um, what kind of shape they are roughly. Um, even though mine sort of、uh, mostly circle, because、um, I just ended up with a lot of circle embellishments, I don't know why.、Um, so now I'm just、um, trying to figure out the placement of、um, all these things that are going on the canvas. And as you see, I put the key and the flourish on the very top part of the first canvas because they're the prettiest、um, of all these embellishments, and I want. Them to showed up. I want them to show up completely instead of covering up with more and more embellishments.、Um, so that's a tip.、Um, scrap metals and scrap pieces that you don't like can go on the bottom, and、uh, pretty pieces that you like can go on the top,、uh, so that、um, that will be more visible than the pieces that you don't really like. If that makes sense to you.、Um, so I'm also using、uh, some wet metal glue、um, in conjunction with.、Uh, Hot glue, so that、uh, hot glue can hold these metal pieces together on the cork board while the metal glue is、uh, drying. If that makes sense.、Um, so just putting in more and more embellishments and layering them here.
thin coat of gesso all over metal. Um, putting in the, I'm coating it with gesso because I would like uh, to provide an extra tag to the colorations that I will be applying later. Don't have to be too much, um, just a little thin coat, especially on the metal because um, pigment doesn't tend to stick very well on the metal, so um, gesso is kind of necessary in order to do that. And it also tone down all the embellishment that are bright, bright colors so that they won't be showing through your spray after you add spray on the project. So just letting the gesso dry thoroughly because I don't want it to run over my medium when I add the medium. Uh, next, I'm adding a coat of Art Anthology Mud. I really, really love mud because it uh, provides this really fluidic um, sort of look to the project. And, um, and I, I, I really love the look of that. So I'm just putting in a coat of mud on uh, the gesso surface. And uh, it makes it really easy for the medium to tack on the metal surface because of the priming with gesso. Um, so now I'm letting the mud dry completely before I start spraying. And um, next I will be spraying those um, magnets uh, with art anthology colorations. And, um, and I use a lot of um, different colors for this project. Um, I'll be sharing them. Um, first, I used um, Patience Pink color. And then I also use um, Salted Caramel and Sand Castle color. And I'm not letting um, the spray dry in between the two colors because I kind of want them to blend together. So I'm just, um, I just spray them. Um, all at the same time before I get them dry. So next I put on some uh, salted, salted caramel color and um, lark color and I let it dry before I go in with warm, Warmia Bay because I kind of want Warmia Bay to be separated instead of um, having it blend in with a uh, lark color and that sort of uh, gives this uh, two-tone look on the canvas and I really love the effect of it. And also, um, after um, I finish all my color spraying, I'm going in with a, a coat of ice. And ice really um, soften up the look of the color, especially on this canvas. Um, after I spray it with juicy orange color, um, I went in with a coat of ice that really softened up the color of the canvas you'll see there. And I'm also adding in uh, splashes of color as needed. Um, now I'm adding in um, guacamole. Uh, splash and a little bit of ice splash on it, and that really tones the tones down the color of uh, juicy uh, orange color. And uh, I'm going back and adding uh, sand castle on all three canvas so that it gives a little vintage look. And uh, after all three are uh, dry, I went in with some dimensionals paint, and I'm not using the paintbrush for this. I'm just um, rubbing it on with my hands because I want to have a feel of my uh, metal em embellishment surface and the and um, only at the um, highlight the race um, part of the the canvas and I'm not worried about touching it with my hands at all because um, these are all uh, toxic toxic free paint so um, that's fine and next um, putting I'm going in with a metal effect dimensional medium uh, to just sort of um, give this gold, golden kind of tone in my embellishments. And uh, I am letting the dimensions uh, dry before I go in with the next medium, uh, which is sandstone, dimensional medium. Um, and I'm just using my pointy um, palette knife to add sandstone dimensional medium in the little tiny space in between embellishments to sort of look like um, they were sitting on uh, some sand. 
and that makes sense. And that added a lot of texture and make a big difference in the project. Um, so, so I'm just um, going in with sandstone um, to add a finishing touch to those. And the pointy texture knives allow me to really get into um, small space and corners um, of, the, of the project. And in addition to adding them in the, around, the, around the embellishment, I'm also adding some on the edges of the project to provide some sort of border. And really love the color of that. Uh, and now I'm letting it dry and finishing up the project. And I hope you like the tutorial that I've created. And uh, please visit the link below to see uh, yummy products from Art Anthology. Thank you.